A regular sword acts more like a wedge that opens up a fracture in whatever it's cutting. This is why sharp blades are better than dull ones for cutting hard objects. A sharper sword will focus the energy of the cut into a smaller area, producing a much larger force. But with fire, can we take the burden off the blade and just use it as a fire delivery device to cut through all kinds of objects? It's gonna make such a mess. Let's start with something easy. You've got 17 sticks of butter, but you also have a sword that you can set on fire. So you should be able to slice through that butter really, really easily. I wish there was some sort of expression. Uh, anyway. A hot knife through butter. A really, a really big knife through butter. Yes, oh, yes. All right, here Get we it. go. Oh, it's going. Ooh. The chilled stick of butter puts up some resistance, but as it melts, Kevin cuts right through it. Yes, yes, yes. Put some muscle yes. into it. All right, you got it, you got it. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, thank that you. That is awesome. Oh. So, how will a giant block of ice stand up to the burning blade? Will the heat help cut it all the way through? <laughs> oh, that's doing a pretty good job. I love wow, the scissor. Wow, that's so cool. I'm gonna chop it. Are you guys ready? Yeah, here we go. Woo! Oh, yeah! That was a nice slice. That was actually a bit more difficult to slice than the butter because it was much harder and didn't melt as fast. What else dares to take the flaming sword challenge? Kevin, you brought a rubber duck. Yep. I don't approve or condone this at all, <laughs> so I'm going to go over there. <laughs> Good luck, duck. Although we call them rubber ducks, these days they're made of tough, non-toxic vinyl. So I'm thinking that the duck may beat the sword in this face-off. He's hanging in there longer than I thought he would. Oh, it squeaks, too. Stop making this harder than it has to be. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Why didn't the vinyl duck melt more easily? The melting temperature of most vinyl is much higher than that of butter or ice. 160 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, well, I think that's enough, Kevin. The duck has probably got a headache. 